To crack the ancient secret that previous civilizations left behind, we meet with world-renowned physicist Dr. Brooks Agnew. Author of two national bestsellers, his published works include thousands of technical papers comprised of solutions and theories regarding fields of advanced mathematics and physics. Storms, earthquakes, all sorts of weather anomalies around the planet. If that's the case, would it not stand to reason that Earth is not alone? Because we have other planets in the solar system. This thing would just naturally, it's not picking on Earth, it would affect all the inner planets. And it does. Is it? Yes. All, several planets in the solar system are experiencing global warming as we speak. For instance, we've had a satellite going around Saturn now for 18 years. We've been making measurements of Saturn for 18 years. In those 18 years, the atmospheric pressure of Saturn has changed 30%. If that occurred on Earth, there'd be no life left. It's believed in the center of every galaxy there is a giant black hole, a massive spinning black hole around that keeps all these stars in its orbit. We're talking maybe tens of millions of times the size of our sun. Uh, maybe have long since collapsed in on themselves because of gravity, but the, the force that they exert on all the bodies in this galaxy probably would make it function. According to conservation of momentum, sort of like a, an ice skater, when she pulls her arms in, she spins faster and faster and faster. That's what black holes do too. Most theoretical physicists agree today that black holes are evolving at their maximum speed. But even that centrifugal force can't overcome the gravitational pull. That still makes a very high frequency ripple in space-time created by that gravity all in one spot. But that ripple would be along the black hole's diameter. It, well, it would be, it, the big ones actually flatten out like a plate or a donut. So and as so they... so it's diameter, well, it, it's now flat. It would be radially. It's a radial gravitational wave that goes out. So theoretically, if the center of our galaxy were a giant black hole, and our spiral arms are rotating and all the stars are captured within the gravitational pull of the giant black hole in the center of our galaxy. Being that large and moving at high speed and being much flatter, its radial gravitational wave could potentially be a wave that would extend the entire width of the galaxy. Or beyond the galaxy. That being the case, the significance of the year 2012 becomes very evident then because on that date of the year 2012 is the date at which our solar system passes through or passes into that exact plane. It's not going to be night and day. Years before that occurs, we will see the effects as that is sort of like a, a undertow and then a wave. So that's what we believe the evidence of what's happening on the surface of the planet and beneath the planet, inside the planet, that's what we believe is happening now. Sort of the undertow effects of this gravitational wave as it builds. So this wave is basically is stationary with respect, well, let's say, let's say the galaxy as a whole, let's call it stationary. It, it represents a plane, the plane of the galaxy. Our solar system is moving closer and closer to that plane right now. It actually touches the center of that plane on that, on an upcoming date. That's correct. Because the Mayan calendar apparently is built based on that um, galactic plane, you know, from 3114 BC to 2012. Correct. You know, where the Earth moves through that plane. Right. Could passing through this plane cause all the effects that have happened in the past. I think so. I think so, yeah. Could passing through this plane uh, account for anomalies such as the sun setting in the west, rising and then setting again, as documented in some of the ancient Chinese texts? Yes. We have all these asteroids, which could have been a fifth, could have been a planet. It most likely was a shattered planet. 90% of the mass of what they believe was the planet is gone, leaving only 10% as an asteroid field. That's what a number of astrophysicists are saying. Where did it go? 
if the solar system passes through and you have these gravitational waves that move through, it may move much more quickly and readily these smaller bodies with less inertia. Yeah, and push them by the Earth, push them into the Earth, or push them out of the solar system entirely. So slowly over time, the asteroid belt leaves the solar system. It's pushed out. In a similar fashion, that cosmic dust outside the last orbit of our planets gets pushed in through the solar system and gets locked into the polar ice caps. You know, somebody asked me one time what it would take to end the technology of the Earth. So one big electromagnetic pulse would take out all the electronics on the planet. Uh, some kind of event that took out most of the population on the coast, which is about where most of the universities are. And now you have all the people that know how to do stuff gone. And, you know, sure, I know how to drive a car. I know how to, you know, work steel. But do I know how to mine iron and smelt it and do everything that it takes? No, we, we diversify our societies into specialties. Those specialties are lost. The technology degrades in no time. A doctor would still try to perform brain surgery, you know, and he'd still he'd do the best he can with, you know, a, a knife made out of rock. <laughs> or obsidian. Yeah. It's, um, you know, and, and, you know, there's those sorts of things are left over. You're, you're instantly thrown into the Stone Age. Do you believe that this cataclysmic event will happen in the future? Yes. Latest in research data, we can speculate that due to the overwhelming rate of spin and the generated gravitational field, the galactic plane or gravitational disk could relatively be paper thin, requiring Earth with our current speed of movement through the galaxy only a few years to completely pass through this plane experiencing the full effect upon Earth's stability. If this data is correct, could this be what the Bible refers to as the seven years of tribulation in which the Earth undergoes a series of devastating global catastrophes which result in the death of billions? Pues una cosa sí es segura, que los antiguos saben de varias catástrofes globales. Que hay un montón de restos de civilizaciones anteriores por todas partes de la Tierra. Sus restos y sus archivos han intentado avisarnos y prepararnos para que vuelva a suceder estos sucesos. Avisos que hasta ahora la humanidad ha ignorado. De todas maneras, las señales de historias que están surgiendo ya son evidentes por todo nuestro mundo. Computer simulations utilizing the collection of knowledge we have amassed through decades of galactic models and satellite data tells us that our solar system will definitely begin passing through the galactic plane in the very near future. The most severe effects that will cause worldwide devastation and a pole shift are most likely to occur beginning sometime between the years 2008 and 2015. We are living in a very interesting time. The future is beginning to unfold right before our eyes, and the conclusion to an age-old question is on the verge of presenting itself. There are over six billion people that live in the world today, and despite our differences in beliefs and cultures, we are all in this together. We are all seeking the same answers to life, and we will all experience the same future. But knowing what's coming over the horizon is only the beginning. Understanding why truly is the key to the meaning of life itself and offers real hope to an unsuspecting world. As with any new discovery, great resistance is expected and there will be those that blatantly discredit the information you have learned today. Whether it be from denial, fear, or even one's true belief that nothing will happen. But the truth is there, right in front of you, a truth that more researchers, scientists, and individuals are uncovering with each passing day. Open your eyes and look over the horizon and you'll see it too.